Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Cracker Drag playthrough where we are pushing down against the Dark Elves, against Marafi down here, who is has proven to be much more powerful than I expected actually. Uh, we've had some fun fights um, down here. We are slowly advancing, but it's, as I said, it's it's been a much trickier push than I expected anyway. I want walls here as soon as possible. I do want to buy the plane of dogs off, their, off the Empire, but I'm going to let them finish it off first. I don't have the money just now to do too much, but yeah. Go so many people fully leveled at this point. Obviously we have we hold Quintex ourselves now, which is lovely. And eventually we'll get to that, which is a uh, public order penalty due to corruption or lack of that is lovely. And the extra money. This is gonna be a pure money making region, potentially. Um I do need some extra production unit production buildings, but they don't necessarily need to be there. Um Hmm. You guys get to hang around there, making us all our monies. Let us begin. Shoulder axes, lads. We move. Moving. Let us begin. But well, nobody's here. I'm, I'm kind of expecting them to just make a sally for uh, Arnheim uh, via the sea, because it would probably make more sense. Obviously, we are bringing some more armies down, which is going to be helpful when they get here. Alaric Ironhammer there, bringing his army, his fresh recruits down uh, to join the fray down here. And once we've done this, we will finally go and give the donut a poke. But yeah, I'm little surprised by how powerful they are still. Um, I suspect they've actually pushed down into Lustria a bit, which I don't want. I don't actually want to push down into Lustria. I'll happily take the territory here, but oof. Really? Oh god. I may not win this because they've got one OP hell bit abomination. Wow. This I don't know what the best option is here, to fight individually or attack separately or or run away until the time runs out. I could technically just avoid it until the time runs out. Um, I think I'm probably best to fight it with a single unit at once, maybe. I don't I honestly don't know with monstrous units. These guys have the expert charge defense, so we'll let them take the soak the initial charge. Throwing everything in does seem to help a bit, at least, though it does potentially mean he can attack more, but just leave these guys chasing just to keep them, keep him distracted away from the main fray. But this, this is not fun. Brave Dowie here, fighting and dying. Oh, what the hell is that? What is that in its mouth? Oh my god. Yeah. It is going down, but wow, the damage it's doing. It's like got a warp lightning tendril in its mouth. It's, yeah, I don't like that. Annoyingly, it also looks like it means that it's not got any uh, up the... Oh, 
There you go, that's it, special animation then. Ooh. Yeah, but it's going down, so that's the key thing. These guys are dying chasing him, but they're making him waste his ammo. Oh, it died and became Skaven Slave Spears. Interesting. Really? Don't think they're going to be a problem. It's killing this smegging assassin. He's up here somewhere. Gonna let my warriors soak him to start with because they've got the ranged defense. Wherever he's hiding, yeah. Because basically until he runs out of ammo. Ah, there we go. Until he runs out of ammo, there wasn't much we could do. He is, however, very, very good versus us, so. But he is Skaven, so his leadership is probably not as good. Little Skaven assassin, you know, he's not really meant to be fighting groups like this, so. But he's still fairly good at decapitating my Dowie. Wow. Literally, he just decapitates three or four each attack. It's just an outlasting him thing here, which we should do, should being the operative word. Though, wow, considering it was two units to start with, that took a lot of killing. Kill him, do not let him escape, murder him. Murder him, yes, yes, yes. Or he will be back next turn. Yeah, he's got away. There we go. That's fine. Six one hundred and sixty-two. Uh, the, the big guy actually only killed thirty-seven of us, but wow. Yeah. Um. <laughs> the, that electric warp stone hell pit abomination. Yeah, I may pull a short out from that because why not? For the uh, electric hell pit abomination. More. Uh, wow. Uh, and we killed one enemy unit. <laughs> Technically we killed more because obviously they spawned some extras in. But yeah. We actually lost more than half the Dowie there against those two units. Oh wow. But they don't have anywhere so I think they're going to be forced to keep attacking which is problematic because they're going to do stuff like this I need to throw some units together there or oh, hope the empire comes to my aid I know some people have been pushing for me to confederate with the other Dowie which would make me ridiculously powerful but it would also make it ridiculously boring for the rest of the game at that point Good empire. Good empire. That's what I want you doing. Pressuring them so I can move in for the swoop and take the glory. There we go. And that is Rictus destroyed. Nice. So that is perfect. That means Negrond is now mine for the, for the taking. I cannot believe the elves are still alive. But with the elves rework, they can hold much smaller areas. So actually, they will be very powerful there. Um, I'm a little worried they're going to use the wood, the roots to 
attack me from behind in Nagarond, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. I'm going to let the Empire wipe out um, uh, the Exiles and the Heck there. And yeah, and then we will just buy the last few remaining bits of territory off the Empire, making us hugely powerful. And yeah, it's it's going to be working out where we're going to start our invasion against the elves because I definitely want to start an invasion against them. And I want to take the donut, but it's going to be a it's going to be a tricky war because they have good units, especially their newer with their newer updates. They've got a lot of decent anti armor, so. Time for a reckoning. Let's just push forwards. Through the horrible attrition. Yeah, I do have another army building up up here. The thing I do miss is the really good Dwarven artillery. That'll do. God, my income is, is plummeting. What can I do? Moving. I lied. What can I do? There we go. So all going nicely. We're going to move a, a down on the moon shard next turn and potentially hit hit the tall there. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Bugger. Full back. Full back. That's not good. I have lightning strike, so actually that's perfect. Yep. This is two versus one, so actually this works well for us. Um, though Malekith is evil, horrible, and vicious to deal with. So Malekith and the warp fire blokies are the key things to deal with first. This is a horrible army. Because there is a lot of large there, and I am not a very heavy anti-large setup. That said, it's a reasonable map for us. We're going to set up across, along here. I'm going to hold these guys back or have them spread out along the line just to deal with anything large which comes in. And obviously, we've got the other force coming in, which I want to get set up pretty much straight away. It's their ranged, which worry me as well, because they have good anti-armor ranged. Alright, let's pause. Nice thick line there. Heroes can be spread out nicely along with it. I'm holding Cromson back because he is going to be involved, heavily involved in getting it. They're ranged when he gets him. Bring them down. And my ranged are obviously going to be dragon slaying. I am 
Murder Malekith yesterday. Ranged, get on to him. Cromson, I want your butt charging Malekith straight away as soon as you can. All of my ranged in there. Kill that ah that um axe. Kill that dragon ranged. Other range stay on Malakir. That's it, Cromson. Get your butt in there and cut him down. Oh, Malakir is running away from me. That's fine. My line is holding, which is kind of what I want. Forward into there, please. I want you guys still focusing. No, Malakith is fine. Take out that War Hydra, please. You guys, forwards onto that dragon. <laughs> large, anti-large push there. Not exactly subtle, but in fact, I'm going to pull a couple of these guys down to the flank to help. They don't actually have too much in the way of ranged. Two fire warlocks, they need to be dead yesterday because they uh, can drop doom bolts on us, which are horrible. A lot of you guys can break off. Cromson can take Malekith on his own. He's more than capable. Ah, there's the other ones. Ranged, shred them quickly, please. That's it, Cromson! Oh, he's running away! Ranged, kill him. You guys push in. Start folding around the flanks. Come on! Boom! <laughs> That was beautiful. Cromson, get your butt in. Range, take out their range next, please. The line is holding. You guys can start folding round. I always forget that some of these guys don't have the ability to do it in one big fell swoop. I'm going to burn their dark shards down. You guys can slam into the rear here. You guys can slam into the rear here. Not going to need much. They're already breaking. Nice. And our line did its job, which was to hold. And they have held beautifully. However, Murder's Prowess has not popped yet. So we want to be a bit careful. Into the flank. Oh, God. Range, stop that. It's already over, and Murder's Prowess, I don't think, even popped. Nice. Volley into them as they run should be devastating. And don't get me wrong, we took lots of damage in places, but still. Nice. That's what you get when you attack the might of Krakadrak, even with Malakith on your side. He only got two kills. Oh, wow. I mean, Grumson probably only got one kill, but still, it was Malakith. So, yeah. It was a uh, targeted attack. 
I, I'm actually impressed that Cromson can take on Malekith, because that, that does mean he is a little OP now. He does have some of the best weapons I can give him as well, so, you know, he is effectively legendary geared at this point as well, which does help. Um, but, yeah, I like having... Malekith is usually terrifying, so being able to close him down like that is great. Hmm. No, Empire, why? Why do that to me? I wanted to take there and keep it intact. God damn you, Empire. I'll let them resettle it, then I'll buy it off, to be fair, because that's their troops which get wasted. Where are you off to? But that is, is the Dark Elves pretty much beat. I'm going to be honest. I think they're in a, they're in a bad way, so that's nice for me. And we will see what else happens here, but... Yeah, the Empire are inevitably going to resettle there, then we'll start buying stuff off them, um, and yeah. It's going to be the War with the Elves, because I don't actually want to bring them in to the War with the Elves, but it's going to be a tough war. Ah, if the Elves settle Moonshard, that'd give me the perfect reason, because I have claimed an Agarond to the might of the Krakadrak. So if they resettle it, I mean, settle, take it, that's my claimed territory, guys, which gives me a Cossus Belly to go to war with the Donut. Ooh. Well, they're still in existence. Why do I expect she's going to run away? Oh, she's not. But this is unfortunately going to be after something, guys. I am going to have to fight next time because I'm running out of time. I don't have enough time to fight this battle just now. So thank you for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this. Next time, you get to have the fun of watching us bring my armies to smash the might of Marathi. Um, and yeah, break her, hit her settlements, and finish them off once and for all. As always, thank you very much for watching, guys. I do hope you have enjoyed this. Please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying this playthrough. It's such nice to have a long playthrough for a change. I've said it now, it's going to get, mods going to get updated and everything will break. <laughs> but no, thank you for watching, and cheers to everybody, guys.